Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Welcome to the Big Ideas series where we answer curious questions for curious minds. Why do beavers build dams? Beavers are one of nature's most skilled builders. They're known for creating large structures out of sticks, mud, and rocks. These are called dams. But have you ever wondered why beavers build dams in the first place? In this video, we're going to explore the reasons behind this amazing behavior. We'll look at how beavers build dams, what they're made of, and how these structures help beavers survive in the wild. We'll also learn how beaver dams can affect the environment around them. Let's get started. Beavers build dams for one main reason, to create a safe and stable home. Beavers live in lodges, which are dome-shaped houses made of sticks and mud. These lodges are built in water, usually in ponds or slow-moving streams. But many streams move too quickly or don't have enough deep water for beavers to safely build their lodges. That's where dams come in. When a beaver builds a dam, it slows down the flow of water in a stream. This creates a pond. The pond becomes the perfect place to build a lodge. The water around the lodge makes it hard for predators like coyotes, wolves, or bears to reach the beaver's home. It also helps the beaver stay warm and hidden during the winter. So how do beavers build these dams? They start by finding a good spot in a stream. Then they collect branches, twigs, rocks, and mud. Using their strong teeth, they cut down small trees and drag them to the dam site. They carefully pile the materials across the stream. As the water slows down, the beaver adds more mud and sticks to seal the gaps. This process can take days or even weeks depending on how big the dam needs to be. But Beavers are patient. They keep working until they have created a deep pond where they can safely build a lodge. Some dams are small, just a few feet wide. Others can be massive, stretching over 1,000 feet long. In fact, the largest known beaver dam is in Alberta, Canada. It's over 2,700 feet long and can be even seen from space. Once the dam is built and the pond is deep enough, the beaver builds its lodge. The lodge is usually located in the middle of the pond or along the edge. It has underwater entrances that help keep out predators. Inside the lodge, there is a dry living space above the water line. It's lined with softwood shavings and grass. Beavers live in family groups called colonies, so a lodge might have a pair of adult beavers and their young. The dam and the lodge work together to give the beaver family a safe and cozy place to live year-round. But dams don't just help beavers. They also have a big impact on the environment. When a beaver builds a dam and creates a pond, it changes the landscape. The new pond becomes a wetland. Wetlands are home to many types of plants and animals. Birds, frogs, fish, insects, and even deer might use the wetland for food, shelter, and water. Beaver ponds also help store water during dry seasons. They slow down flooding during heavy rains. They can even help filter the water trapping dirt and pollution so it doesn't flow downstream. In this way, beavers are called ecosystem engineers. That means they shape the environment around them in ways that help many other species. Without even knowing it, beavers help make healthy habitats for all kinds of wildlife. Beaver dams also help the animals themselves survive tough seasons. In the winter, ponds created by dams stay deep enough 
that they don't freeze all the way. This means the underwater entrance to the lodge stays open. Before winter arrives, beavers collect food and store it in the pond near their lodge. They mainly eat the soft inner bark of trees along with aquatic plants. When the pond is frozen, beavers can swim along their lodge to their food pile without ever having to leave the safety of the water. Without the dam, the pond wouldn't be deep enough. The entrance might freeze and the beavers could get trapped or starve. So building a dam is not just helpful, it's a matter of survival. Dams aren't permanent. They need regular repairs. Storms, floods, or curious animals can damage the structure. When that happens, beavers quickly get to work. They check their dam almost every day and make repairs as needed. Their strong teeth and hard-working attitude make them excellent engineers. Beaver teeth never stop growing. That's why they can keep gnawing on trees and branches without wearing their teeth down. The front teeth are orange because of the iron in the enamel, which makes them even stronger. Sometimes beavers build dams in places where people don't want them. Their dams can flood roads, farmland, or neighborhoods. When this happens, wildlife experts may move the beavers or install special pipes in the dam to control the water flow. Even so, many people have come to appreciate the good things that beaver dams do. Some communities even protect beavers and work to live alongside them. Their dams help bring wetlands, improve water quality, and provide homes for many animals. To sum it up, beavers build dams to create safe homes. The dams slow down water, create ponds, and protect the entrance to the beaver lodge. These ponds help beavers find food, stay safe from predators, and survive cold winters. But the benefits don't stop there. Beaver dams also help the environment by creating wetlands, reducing floods, and improving water quality. Beavers may be small, but they play a big role in shaping the world around them. Thanks for watching the Big Idea series where we answer curious questions for curious minds. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easy a homeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.